Hey guys, this is Taylor York from Paramore. Hey, this is Jeremy from Paramore. Hey, I'm Josh from Paramore, and you're watching Fender Vision. Fender Vision. Fender Vision. <laughs> learning how to play your instrument and writing. It's like you're constantly going to guitar stores and trying out different things. and um, Yeah, looking at your favorite bands and seeing what they're playing and in love with it. And a lot of our favorite musicians and guitar players actually do play Fender. Mm -hmm. but my friend had this like Squire telly at his house. I just liked the way it looked. It was all like beat up and I was like, dude, I want this. He's like, yeah, I don't play it. So he, he sold it to me for like $200. I don't know. I just loved the way it felt and loved the way it played. and. It sounded great with our, you know, with our style of music. You know, the clean and the dirty sound incredible. So it's kind of, you get the best of both worlds with the telly. It's funny because uh, the first one I ever had, the first <clears throat> Fender I ever had was a P-Bass and, and I loved it and it felt so smooth. And then whenever I actually started playing the jazz bass, like it was kind of weird. It was like by the time that I, I found the jazz bass, I was already like ready to ha hear a different sound. It, it plays totally different, it sounds totally different. So I really started getting into the jazz bass and then we went to going to make the custom and it's, it's awesome. It's so smooth, it's just like a hot knife through butter. It's just so easy to play. I think when you, you know, kind of go from guitar to guitar to guitar, like there's, there's, there's always something you like about that guitar, whether it has it all or not. And I think it was just so cool to dream up, like the perfect guitar for all of us, like looks wise and playing wise, just the tonality of it. And um, so just being able to kind of dream up whatever you wanted was incredible. And when we got them back, it was better than we thought. Like it was literally perfect. From the time when we started thinking it up to when I actually got it was definitely a year. The, the whole process, it took a long time. We spent a lot, of time, a lot of time on it, but I'm so happy with the way it turned out. It's just the, how smooth they play and how perfect it is. I mean, it's your guitar exactly how you, you know, your bass guitar exactly how you'd want it and design it yourself. We made the cutaway, we kind of pretty much cut it off <laughs> uh, and made it a lot more um, smooth line and then extended the body out a little bit and changed the pit guard. And I really wanted to do a, a cool looking like sunburst to black or whatever. And so I wanted to do that and threw the gold pit guard on there and I love it, it's awesome. Either Taylor or his brother that was like, why don't you just make a, a gold top telly? And I was like, well, I guess it could work. Yeah, it's got like a mahogany neck and, uh, and a rosewood fretboard. Like Jeremy said, it's so hard to play any of my other guitars after it, even the Relic one, because like, there's that uh, Rory Gallagher edition, and that I, I have that strap. And uh, I wanted one like that. I wanted a telly like that. So, And that one's amazing but even that one doesn't play as well as the gold one, but they're just, they're incredible guitars. I mean, I, I can't play anything else. Yeah, I really can't. There have been a couple times whenever we do the flip that uh, I always kind of land different. It's pretty much every day, it's, it's a little different. Sometimes I jump a little bit too hard, sometimes I don't jump enough, <laughs> but, mm. but sometimes when I land, since like my strap is already really low, I wear the bass really low. Anyways, when I land, if my knees bend at all, like the, the bass will like hit the ground whenever I land. So like pretty much at the bottom of my bass is probably where most, most of my dents are. He usually either completely clears me and doesn't like hardly touches me or it's just like either his bass or something just hit some, some part of my back. I was just like, ah. <laughs> Josh is getting more wear and tear than the, yeah. than the instruments. <laughs> yeah, as long as he doesn't hit my guitar, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs>